His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, performed flight training simulation alongside Captain Salah Al Saidi as part of His Majesty's habit of taking advantage of the weekend to engage in useful activity. His Majesty the King is a flying hobbyist and His Majesty encourages flying enthusiasts. We're in one uh, clear uh, taxi holding point on way 174. Go to the north yeah. and then to 20 and green. Flag in this, Jazzy. Okay, that's uh, stable. Let's go. Okay, first rev and plus set. That's it. Okay, green. First of all, The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the horse draw for participating jockeys at the fifth edition of the Bahrain International Trophy. His Highness welcomed the owners, trainers and jockeys from various international, regional and Bahraini stables who will be taking part in the race tomorrow at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club track. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman noted the strengthening of Bahrain's position as a host and organizer for various international sporting tournaments, including horse racing, thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed that the elevation of the Bahrain International Trophy to Group 2 status and the hosting of the event for the fifth year in a row reflects the kingdom's international reputation in the equestrian sports and horse racing. His Highness highlighted that the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's achievements have helped attract world-class stables, international trainers and jockeys to participate in this year's race. The draw for the 14 horses competing in the fifth and main race was held in addition to the Bahrain International Trophy. Seven other races will be held for the cups of the sponsors of the Bahrain International Trophy. The event was also attended by senior officials, representatives, sponsors, owners, trainers, jockeys, and the media. In a statement marking the International Day for Tolerance, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al-Msallam, affirmed 
that His Majesty developed a pioneering approach for tolerance for all humanity. He said that Bahrain has spread the values of tolerance and coexistence through society and embodied them in the National Action Charter and the Constitution. Al Msallam hailed the approach of His Majesty the King to establish many initiatives to promote tolerance, solidarity, and cooperation among various nations and cultures. He praised the government's strategies and programs in reflecting these values, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. In a statement also marking the International Day for Tolerance, the Shura Council Chairman Ali al Saleh affirmed that Bahrain is a model of culture of tolerance that embraces different religions and cultures. He said Bahrain has spread the values of tolerance and coexistence through society and embody them in the National Action Charter and the Constitution. al Saleh hailed the approach of His Majesty the King to establish many initiatives to promote tolerance, solidarity and cooperation among various nations and cultures. He praised the government's strategies and programs in reflecting these values led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. And in a similar statement on the occasion of the International Day for Tolerance, the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs affirmed that moderation, coexistence and tolerance are values that Islam encourages. It hailed His Majesty the King's keenness to consolidate the values of tolerance, ensuring religious freedom practices and considering it a necessary basis for achieving coexistence. The Council also hailed the government's efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to achieve the royal visions in this field through initiatives and endeavors that proceed in accordance with the legislative system and developmental and educational policies. The Council recalled the Kingdom's launch of Bahrain Dialogue Forum East and West for Human Coexistence last year under the patronage of His Majesty the King. The Council called for efforts to promote these values among people and make them a necessary part of school curricula and media programs within the framework of principles, values and customs. The Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys a high degree of international appreciation, respect and praise for its efforts to promote human coexistence in a way that contributes to improving societies and spreading the culture of peace in the world. More details in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has been able to be an incubating land for everyone from the East and West who enjoy a safe and stable life without discrimination. It has succeeded in making peace its established approach and its firm strategic choice that champions the principle of human coexistence, accepting differences and adopting the language of dialogue and diplomacy, as well as spreading the culture of tolerance, coexistence and harmony in a civilized manner that expresses the values of authenticity and awareness of the people of Bahrain. The Kingdom is also making great efforts to consolidate the approach of peace and human brotherhood among people and to adopt and build upon the principles of peaceful coexistence as a result of the comprehensive development process of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Kingdom has a unique experience in the field of religious freedom, the freedom to hold religious celebrations and the freedom to practice religious rituals for all religions with their various sects. The world also adopted the Bahraini model with its diverse demographic composition in order to establish the values of peace, harmony and peaceful coexistence between people, civilizations and religions of all faiths. The chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa opened the World Diabetes Day Awareness event organized by the Royal Medical Services in cooperation with the Bahrain Diabetes Society. The conference aims to spread awareness about diabetes and motivate society to take measures to prevent the disease, how to live with it and reduce its complication. The activities included a health awareness exhibition which provided medical consultations and educational and awareness information about diabetes. Sheikh Dr. Mohammed expressed thanks and appreciation to all the participants. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil al Asumi, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain represents a pioneering and inspiring model of tolerance, thanks to the visions of His Majesty the King. On the occasion of the International Day for Tolerance, al Asumi praised the ambitions, initiatives, and comprehensive visions of His Majesty the King to make the values and principles of tolerance and peace a national and global platform. He also appreciated the efforts of the government, headed by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in this regard. Within the framework of Cityscape Bahrain 2023 exhibition, which is held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the conference accompanying Cityscape was launched. 
Uh, we're very delighted to be here, uh, Cityscape Bahrain. We are a regional partner to Cityscape and a partner uh, to the Bahraini government, so it's an honor to be here. Uh, it is really imperative and very important for us and, and many, to, many others to be here. First, it's important to understand the real state projects that are coming to life. But more importantly, it's the transformation of the sector, you know, through its regulatory as well as technological advances. And for us, um, this is key, not for just us as, as a market leader, but more importantly, as a servant leader to this sector in bringing about change um, in, in policies, change in uh, technology that serves the different generations. Today in this uh, panel, I try to focus on uh, the digital placemaking and uh, and uh, its role in the digital transformation. But I try to, uh, more to focus on the experiential aspects, how to consider the experience of each, uh, everyone, how to, to consider the psychological aspects. It's not about technical aspects, it's about how we consider all uh, the memories, the experiential uh, aspect of everyone. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemned the bombing by Israeli forces around the Jordanian field hospital in the Gaza Strip, resulting in the injury of seven hospital staff, which constitutes a violation of international humanitarian law, the Fourth Geneva Convention of 1949, and endangers the lives of patients, medical personnel, and civilians. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed Bahrain's solidarity with Jordan, affirming the need for the international community to take action and assume its moral responsibility to immediately stop the war in the Gaza Strip prevent the targeting of civilian installations and infrastructure in the Strip, and provide safe passages for the delivery of humanitarian and relief aid to ease the suffering of the people of Gaza. The 19th Manama Dialogue 2023 will begin tomorrow with the wide participation from various countries. The Manama Dialogue is considered the first security summit in the Middle East as this dialogue brings together presidents, ministers, military and security leaders, forming a platform for holding bilateral and multilateral meetings with the aim of advancing political initiatives. The event, organized by the International Institute for Strategic Studies, is a unique forum to discuss the most pressing challenges in the field of foreign policy, defense and security in the Middle East. The Meteorological Directorate at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications said the weather in Bahrain will be cloudy, with a rain that might be thundery at times. The Directorate warned that winds will be easterly to southeasterly 5 to 10 knots and could reach up to 12 to 17 knots with gusts that may reach 35 knots at times. The Directorate warned that there is a warning for wave heights that will range from 1 to 2 feet near the coast and from 2 to 4 feet in the open sea. It also warned that waves might reach 8 feet during the strong gusts.